What's up everybody, my name is Linus, I'm currently a sophomore at American University and I want to talk to you about my experience with my school's online learning. So American University went online back for the spring semester, back in March, um, at the beginning of the whole COVID pandemic. And now we are in the fourth week of fall classes. Now, most professors are conducting their classes on Zoom. So I'm sure many of you, if you're in high school, if you're looking to apply to American University, you probably have some experience with Zoom. Um, it's a lot better than some of the other online meeting softwares, but of course it has its own limitations. Now, my experience with this so-called Zoom University hasn't been overwhelmingly bad. It also hasn't been great. I do want to share with you a few things that you can do to make Zoom University better. If you're applying to AU this year, chances are that unfortunately you're not going to be able to visit campus. So that's why my first piece of advice is that when you do get to AU and when you do begin classes, one of the first things you should do is try to reach out to your professors. Because you're not going to get that face-to-face, -face, in-person interaction with your professors, it's super important that you start a relationship early with them. My professors, both in the spring term and in the fall term, have been super flexible with office hours. Actually, some professors have expanded office hours because they're able to do them at times when usually they wouldn't even be on campus. The fact that we're all spread out right now, it can either be seen as a detriment or as a benefit. I recommend the latter. Use it, meet your professors, and try to get at least some semblance of a personal relationship, or at least as much as you can on Zoom. All right, number two, my second piece of advice. Uh, this one's more of a technical thing, and I'm sure that many of you have used Zoom, you're probably using it right now, so I'm sure you've heard this piece of advice before. But something that helps me a lot is when I'm on Zoom all day, when I have three classes, um, something that I try to do is to move around as much as I can. This means getting up from the computer between classes, of course, but what it also means is that between your first class, your second class, your third class, maybe even your fourth class, try to move where you are either in your house or in your room. Of course, this is contingent on how much space you have at your disposal, but I find it's really good to have a different environment for every class. It sort of breaks the monotony of things and it helps you avoid the feeling that the days are all kind of merging together. My third piece of advice is that because things are so difficult right now for so many people, don't be afraid to cut back on the credit hours. As a freshman, I took 17 and a half credits, both terms, the maximum is 18. Um, so I, I had my schedule loaded up and in person it was great. I will say in the spring, doing close to 18 credits from home was very challenging. So I definitely felt that and there were definitely days where, you know, I was in my room and maybe got distracted by a couple things and it was difficult to get work done. So this semester I'm cutting back, I'm only taking 15 credits, so that's five courses. And so far it's been pretty good. Um, I have my class time, it's usually in the mornings, and then I have a good chunk of time in the afternoon to catch up on homework, maybe read a book for fun, go running, or make a YouTube video. My final piece of advice, and this is the overarching moral of the story. Don't view Zoom University as a hindrance on your education. Think about all the events that you can go to that maybe you wouldn't usually be able to go to. So for example, one of the student organizations at AU is having the civil rights activist Angela Davis come and speak for us uh, this weekend. Logistically, for her to come in person would require security and um, if you're wanting to watch her, you'd have to get tickets and you have to wait in line, and all this stuff. But with Zoom, all you need is the meeting link. Now, I plan on going to this event and a bunch of other events like this that typically, in normal times, I honestly probably wouldn't be able to go to. And so a lot of Zoom University is outside the classroom. Now, it is a total bummer not being able to see your friends in person. And it's a bummer to not be able to have your internship maybe in person and have the same kind of experience. And also because American University is in the best city, it's kind of a bummer that you can't be in DC this year. What you gotta remember is that what we're going through right now, it's all temporary. Zoom University, it can equip you with a great tool to do a lot of really interesting and fun things. So I hope these tips help you guys. I hope you start to see this as more of an opportunity rather than a complete bummer. And if you like this video, please drop a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you later.